Hello, Nehemias. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Uh, it's good. Good? Did you yes. have a lot of work today? Tuvo mucho trabajo. Did you have a lot of work today? Uh, yes, yes. Why, why do you say that? ¿Por qué dices? Why do you say that? Um, no sé cómo decir todavía. Estamos <laughs> trabajando en el cierre del mes. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Today is September the 3rd. You have more work yes. to do at the end of the month. Yes, the first uh, week. Ten, ten days. Oh my God. The first yes. 10 days. Okay. Yes. So the next seven days, you still have many things to do. Yes. Mm, I see. But it's nice to have you here. Always on time, Nehemias. Welcome to the class. And good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. And Mario, where are you? On a bus. On the bus. Hi, Maricela. Welcome. I imagine Hi, he's... Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Why is everything so dark, Maricela? Why is it so dark? Why is so dark? No electricity. Quitaron el foco donde estaba. Ah, la dejaron ahí en lo oscuro. Solo dejaron uno del otro lado. Ah, that's why. Yo pensé que ya todos se habían ido a dormir. Um, no, todavía no. No. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance, ok. En Mario, I understand uh -huh, that you are on the bus, so no problem. Ok, so let's begin. We have Daisy Yesenia, Doris de Castaneda, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario, Liz, eh, Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you, Lisette del Carmen, and then Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Castaneda, and then Minette, Minette Rivera. No, okay, Nehemias, regalo. Present, present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto, Nelson René, Rafael Antonio. Espinosa. Present teacher. Hi, Rina. Thank you. Rosy Melendez. Vladimir Rodas. Yanira Cepeda. Present teacher. Yanni and Zulma López. Zulma. Hi, no. teacher. Good evening. Hi, Rafa. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Well, guys, we're going to start with a dictation, okay? It's a dictation, un dictado. So you need a pen or pencil and your notebook. I'm going to spell the same letter twice. I'm going to spell the same letter twice. Voy a deletrear la misma solo dos veces, okay? Si se quedan, I'm sorry. Pero si la repetimos mucho, nos vamos a confundir todos. So, only twice. And send it, oh my God, sorry. Send it in the chat at the end. Because if you do it on the notebook, I won't see. Porque si lo escriben en el notebook, no lo voy a poder ver. So, send it by chat. Okay, use the chat. But don't hit enter until I tell you so. No le vayan a dar enter hasta que ya esté toda la palabra. They are long, okay? Very long words. Así que ya les aviso que están algo largas. Okay, ready? Okay, so T. T. R. R. A. A. 
N. N. S. S. C. C. R. R. I. I. P. P. I. I. O. O. N. N. Okay, now you can send it. What is the, the word, Maricela? What is the word? Let's see if we all have the same. Solo then T A Okay. Okay, but it is transcription. That is the, the word that I spelled. Transcription. So if you have that. Correct, ok. Estoy deletreando la misma letra dos veces, pero no quiere decir que la pongan dos veces, sino solo la repito por si acaso pusieron algo más o si no lo oyeron bien. Ok, next, number two. Sí. Sí. O. O. R. R, and again, okay, R, R, double R, okay, two. E, E, S, S, P, P, O, O, N, N, D, D, E, E, N, N, C, C, E, E. Okay, now let's check. Ritna, what is the word? What is the mystery word? What do you have? Oh, okay. Uh -huh, Rina, that's the one. That's the one. So very good. Correspondence. Okay, number three. This is the last one, number three. And this one is, is shorter. Okay, R, R, E, E, C, C, O, O, R, R, D, letter D. That's the last one. What is the word, Nehemias? Record. Record, yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. That is just to remember the, the alphabet. Okay, but it's good that you still remember it. Now we're going to continue in the book. So I'm going to share it now with you. We continue in unit number three. And here you can see the objective or the goal of today's class. To describe ongoing activities, accurately and regular activities at the workplace. That is the objective. You're going to describe ongoing activities and regular activities in your company at work. Okay, question number one. 
who is the first person to arrive at your workplace, uh, Katia? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Sería la... No, no me acuerdo the first... cómo se llama. Ah, the name of the person, you don't remember. <laughs> Sería como el conserje. Ah, janitor. Janitor. Ajá, uh -huh. I remember you mentioned that right in the past. Okay, what time does he arrive, Katy? At 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. And you? What time do you arrive at work? Uh, eight at 8 a.m. At eight, okay, so he <laughs> arrives there one hour before. One hour. Okay, all right, thank you, Katia. And Marce, what about your company? Who is the first person to arrive, Marce? The security. Oh, the, okay. Oh. The security guard. Uh -huh. Con el con el jefe, ¿cómo se dice? De boss. Uh -huh. Boss, manager, eh, supervisor. What time? What time do they arrive? They arrive at eight o'clock. And, and what about you? At nine, nine o'clock. At eight thirty. Oh, okay, it's just like a half an hour before. It's not that, that early, right? Okay, thank you, Marce. And then we have question number two. Jani, what is the first thing you do when you get, when you are in your company? What is the first activity that you do in your company or workplace, Jani? Um, my supervisor, supervisor, mm -hmm. um, a, a, my gerente, gerente, manager, manager, manager. Okay, but what is the first thing you do? ¿Qué es lo primero que usted hace? What is the first thing you do? When you get to your workplace, cuando usted llega al trabajo, Yanni. Oh, eh, my, eh, my register in the, um, chequear eh, la, la asistencia. Mm, you check, me, you can say, uh -huh. I check my attendance, uh -huh. or I, I sign, check, mm -hmm. I check uh, my, my attendance, attendance, mm -hmm. e, um, mm -hmm. first, first call a customer. You called customers. You called customer. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, Jani, thank you for your comment. Vladimir, what about you? What is the first activity you have to do at work? Uh, I take a cup of coffee. Mm, coffee. That is the first activity. Yes. Black coffee or, or with sugar? Coffee. With or without sugar? Con o sin azúcar. Um, eh, eh, black. Black coffee. You don't, you don't put sugar on it. No. Never. Never. Mm, okay. So. I like uh, uh, um, strong. No, ¿Cómo se llama fuerte? Strong. Strong. Ajá. Uh -huh. You like it strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people say that with sugar is not the same, right? 
is not as strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vladimir, thank you for your comments. And Rafa, what about you? What do you do? What is the first activity you do? I, I check my attendance mm -hmm. and check the servers. It is working well. Mm, okay. It's the first. The first activity, all the time. Yes. Always. Uh, early, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Rafa, thank you for your comment. Now, Maricela, what is the last, the last thing you do at your workplace? Maricela? Uh, okay. The last activity that you do? The last of 15. No, the last, the opposite. Last, última, last. Ah, la última. Uh -huh. um, ¿Cómo sería como terminar de ingresar las facturas? O sea, sí. Finish. Okay, you... Ahí ya. Finish. Eh, no sé cómo se dice ingresar. You can, say, you can say that you add or you input the bills in the computer or in the system. In the system. Mm -hmm. That is the last activity. Yes. What time do you finish? What time do you finish? At the four after... 13 minutes? Four and a half? Or 4.30 PM? 4.30. 4.30. Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. Oh, okay. It's, it's a good time to finish. Thank you, Maricela, okay. for your comment. We will continue with the, the role play, guys, so we can practice pronunciation. Okay, so here it is. We have... Ryan and Raul. So it says, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, now it is your turn. Let me see. We will start with Katia and Nevias. Katia, you go first. You are Ryan. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your, what is our team doing right now? Yes. It is they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 uh, 
And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at seven or seven past half. It past. depends on traffic. Thirty past. seven. <laughs> it is a pen on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, thank you, Katia and Nehemias. Nehemias, can you repeat arrive one more time? Arrive. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, thank there you. are like three options to say the time. Okay, you can say 30 minutes past seven. That's one. You can say 7.30 in the normal way, or you can say seven and a half. That is another option, seven and a half. So there are three possibilities. Okay, so let's continue with Joanna and Rina. Rina, you go first. You will be Ryan, Rina. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I'm planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at the 6.30 a.m. and the Well, I arrive at seven o'clock or seven thirty. Thirty. Uh huh. That's one possibility. If the bank on traffic, my first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay. Very good pronunciation, both of you. Just this one, Rina. You can say doing. doing. Do doing. Mm -hmm. Doing. Yes, like that. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with Daisy and Rosy. Daisy, you are Ryan. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Will I am planning a video conference? Oh, the conference conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team, do, team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to the workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at six. No sé cómo es eso, teacher. Very. ¿Cómo? The number. Uh -huh. Six. Six thirty. Thirty. Uh -huh. Six thirty. I am, and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the, the letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Thank you, Daisy and Rosie. Alberto, are you there? Can you continue, Alberto? And Nelson, are you guys there? Yes. Okay, there you are, and Alberto, are you here? Or maybe he has problems with his connection. Okay, so let's continue with Nelson and Sulma. Are you there, Sulma? Sulma? 
Ah, okay. Sulma, can you Hi. start? Yes. Hi, okay. Sulma. You are Ryan. Hi. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. Why time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you? I uh, usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my mail and you? Well, I read. At seven or seven thirty, it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter letters. Letter. and Nelson, we will go with one, one last couple. So we will hear Marce and and Jenny. Okay, Marce and Jenny. Marce, can you start, please? Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. We are planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your work workplace? What the first thing you do? I usually usually I read at Sinteri and the first thing I do is check my emails. And you? Well, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick, pick up the letters. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, just this one, Jenny. Usually, yes. usually, usually. arrive. Arrive. Usually arrive. Uh -huh. Okay. Usually arrive. <laughs> and this okay, one here, you. Jenny, first. First. First, suena como es. First, when you say it. Ajá. No como es. Ah, ok. Ok, Jani. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Yes, yes, Naomi. Yes. Letter, letter, how can I say it? Let me see. This could be a letter. What is inside this, Nehemiah, is a, a letter, like something that you, you send to others. That is a letter. Do you have any other questions, uh, Nehemiah? Questions? Other questions? Uh, no, teacher. No. Only. And you guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary that was presented? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, my yes. first activity. Uh -huh. Pick up. Ah, okay. Pick up. Uh, what is the meaning? That is what you want to know. Imagine, yeah. okay, imagine this. I, I have my notebook and my, my pen. I'm going to pick up, pick up the pen. Or, let me see. I don't know where I just put the letter. <laughs> But um, where did I put it? 
Okay, but the idea is that you take something like this. I pick up, pick up my my case. When you take, pick up. Sería como levantar o tomar las Aha, aha, correct. Mm -hmm. That is what you do. Like you get the cartas. mail. No, you don't check it. You only get it or take it. Okay. Only the first two options. Okay, excellent. Okay. Anything Thank else, guys? Katia, I think you had a question, right? Sí, tenía una, pero después estuve pensando en lo que dijo ayer sobre que, por ejemplo, en lo que dice, well, I am planning a video conference. Uh -huh. que no tiene lugar, ¿verdad? Pero mm. usted dijo que tenían diferentes users. Uso, yes, today we're going to study a different one. In a, in a few minutes, we will study that, Katia. So I will explain what you see, the grammar that is so over there. Eso, no? Ah, okay, yes, I will explain that, the way it works. Okay, we have questions here about the conversation. We will start with Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir. Let's go with the first question. It says, hmm, who gets earlier? at the workplace who gets earlier brian or raul do you know what earlier means no 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 sé early, si early is the opposite opposite of late early late Lo opuesto a late. But earlier, it's like more early. But we have to say earlier. Okay? Eso es lo que significa. Más temprano. So who is it? Ra Raúl. Raúl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. It says I usually arrive at Six, six thirty. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. That's the one. I'm going to put it here. We can say Raúl. Raúl usually arrives earlier. This is the answer, right? And then number two, Rafa. What? is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference. Uh, they are discuss discussing the conference for the new team. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let me let me see. What do you think, Maricela? Do you have the same opinion? What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing? Mm. What is the topic? El tema, topic. Raúl and his team are discussing. Ideas? No ideas. No idea. No idea. Okay. Yes, Rafa? It's, it's uh, discussing for hours. Arrive. Mm. This is this topic. These two possibilities. <laughs> the conf the 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 conference the, the hour 
array uh, meeting. Mm. What is your team doing right now? Okay, let's see. Is there any other possibility, guys? Do you guys have any other ideas? Anybody, cualquiera, alguien? Another comment? What in are they discussing? Things in San Salvador. The new team. Teams okay. in San Salvador. More ideas? Uh, uh -huh. Solo se refieren. Que están listos para la conferencia. Es that there? No dice. No dice el tema. Solo dice no que dice. se van a reunir. Right. With the new team. Bueno, pregunta. Ok. Pero no dice. It doesn't say. Exactly. It doesn't say. So it says, I'm planning the video conference. And then it says the conference with the new team. And then it says, what are they doing? But it doesn't say the topic of the conference. OK, so no answer. So now we continue. I'm going to I'm going to teach you how to use simple present versus present continuous. That is what we're going to study, the difference. Okay, I'm going to use the whiteboard first. And if you don't understand, if you have questions, please let me know. Okay, let me know if you don't understand. Okay. This is what we are going to learn. Simple present or per present simple versus present continuous. And today, today we're going to study the second use of present continuous, okay? Use number two, use number two. Yesterday we studied use number one, one. Ayer vimos un uso, ahora vamos con otro, ¿ok? So, no quiero que, que lo unan, sino que son dos cosas totalmente distintas, ¿ok? It has nothing to do one with the other. No tienen nada que ver. The use of that we will study today. Lo que vamos a estudiar ayer no tiene que ver no, lo que, te, lo que vamos a estudiar ahora no tiene que ver nada con lo de ayer. Ok, so this is, we start with this. Ok, Nehemías, when do we use simple present? What is the use of simple present, Nehemías? Do you remember? We mentioned that in the first or second class of this level and in the last level too. When do we use simple present? No, teacher. No, okay. Rina, do you remember use of simple present? Uh, cuando vamos a, a hacer algo en, en el momento. Uh, not really, Rina, but thank you. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment. Uh, let me see, Joanna, do you remember the use of simple present? Simple present use. Mm, no, teacher. No. Who no. remembers? Is there anybody who remembers simple present, the use? They right. Aha, Marce. For daily routine? Yes. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. thank you, Marce. So habits, traditions, regular activities. Habits, 
traditions, regular activities. Do you remember the structure, the formula? Do you remember, Trossi? Do you remember the formula, the structure we use in simple present? No, teacher, I don't remember. Okay, and you, Nelson, what is the formula that uh, we need? Subject uh, must verb must complement. Uh -huh. Subject, verb, complement. That's the one. Thank you. And now a different way to use present continuous. Yesterday we mentioned that we use present continuous to talk about future plans, but not today. Today we are going to talk about activities happening in this moment. That is the use or another use of present continuous, okay? Activities happening in the moment of speaking. That is when you have to use present continuous. What is the formula, Rafa? What is the formula of present continuous? The one we studied yesterday. <laughs> Oh, you uh, were not sí, here, es, right? Es, no estuvo en la clase, yes. Sí, pero vi un poquito. Ah, ok. Sería el, 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 el subject, uh -huh. el be, uh -huh. eh, el, el verb, el verb, en, uh -huh. sorry. It's okay. ing, uh -huh. ing y complement. Yes, Rafa, lo felicito. Ajá, uh -huh. that's the structure. <laughs> No vino, mire, y lo sabe, so that's nice. Okay, subject, verb, and complement. Examples, okay, but remember, we are studying the difference, estamos viendo la diferencia. No porque sean presentes los dos, lo vamos a usar igual. It's different. Simple present, you are talking about regular activities. Present continues happening in this moment. Okay, number one, I'm going to mimic and I'm going to put it here. Okay, so I have my cup of coffee. So I am drinking coffee. Coffee. Uh -huh. So that is the activity in this moment. Activity is happening in this moment. I am. Drinking coffee, regular activities. Okay, let me just put it here. Uh, one moment. Okay, now habits. I drink coffee every morning, every morning. Okay, number one, routine. Okay, this is routine. Number two, I'm drinking coffee in this moment. Now, example number two. Okay, water. I am drinking water. Present continuous. I am drinking water. Okay. Activity happening in this moment. Now, simple present. Routine, a regular activity. I drink three bottles of water a day. Okay, a regular activity. The structure is different. It's not the same. Sure. Yes, Rafa. Sorry. Uh... Si en el presente continuo, eh, o sea, ahorita es la actividad que estoy haciendo en el momento. Uh -huh. Pero en la clase de ayer agregaba un complemento donde ponía una fecha. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí lo convierte como, como en un futuro, digamos. Algo yes. así, porque le agregaba uh -huh. una... Correcto, Rafa. Un 
Ah, okay. Por eso les digo de que lo que estamos viendo ahorita es otro uso. El de ayer fue distinto. Hoy en otra manera, otro contexto. So, yes, Rafa. Así como lo entendió es. Uh -huh. Ok, example number, number three. You, you are listening to me in this moment, right? Activity happening in the moment of speaking. You are listening to me. Now, simple present. You listen to the radio in the mornings. That is a habit or maybe a tradition, regular activities. Okay, so please compare. Okay, it's different. Simple present is not for this moment. It is for regular activities. Yes, no. I'm going to give you more examples. I have more examples. So when you finish taking notes, I will give you more examples. Ready? Okay. Okay, so here we have some information. Katia, can you read the, the explanation, please? The explanation. Use the present progressive uh -huh. to talk about action mm -hmm. that, that are or aren't happening now. Okay, thank you. So you can look at the picture. It says, Bob is dancing, Tina isn't eating. She is talking over the phone. That is what she is doing in this moment. Okay, now here we have examples. The activity happening in this moment. She is hitting a piñata. Okay, that is what she is doing. Now you have to complete. Observe the picture and let's, let's use present continuous. Let's start with Rosie. Rosie, picture number one. What are they doing? What do you see, Rosie? Picture number one. Eh, no, no le entiendo, teacher. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? En, la, en, en el número uno. Ajá. Conversando. En inglés. <laughs> eh, <laughs> conversation. Pero acuérdese de la estructura eh, que tenemos que utilizar. Subject. Ajá, pero todo. La estructura que estaba, que estaba viendo en, en la whiteboard. ¿Cómo quedaría, Rosy? Eh, lo voy a revisar, Ticha. Ok, all right. Vamos a darle tiempo a Rosy, but we continue with number two. Marisela, what is he doing? Picture number two. So, yeah, he is... 18 pizza. Mm, no, I don't think it's pizza. <laughs> it looks like meat. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. Meat. Uh -huh. meat. Meat. Correct. So he is. Ah, sí, verdad. Está en el teléfono. Así que, okay. So he is eating. 18. Oh. Eating. Eating. Me. Me. Ajá, y está la structure. Ok, Nelson, picture number three. What is, well, what are they doing? Picture number eh, three. They are dancing. 
Uh huh. That is the structure. They are dancing. They are dancing. Correct. Thank you. Nancy. Yes, Rosie. They are talking. Correct. They are in the verb plus ing, the activity. They are talking. So this is another use of present continuous. Así que es bueno porque es como la misma fórmula para dos casos distintos. No se complican. The same thing for two, two different moments. Do you want to ask questions? No sé si quisieran preguntar algo en este moment. Something that you don't understand. Ahí no es necesario como ponerle más complemento después del talking. Mm, yes, if you want to, they are they are talking in the office, or he is eating meat in the kitchen. You can add a complement. Oh, in the, el lugar, el uh -huh, in the restaurant, in Pizza oh, okay. Hut. Yes, you can do that. Katia, okay. uh -huh. do you have a question, Katia? Solo para aclarar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Si nosotros agregáramos el tiempo, ya uh -huh. sería futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y si hablamos de la actividad en el momento, eh, sería esto que estamos viendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. the, context, the context helps. El contexto ayuda bastante a entender en qué se está hablando. Porque como mencionábamos ayer, no siempre va a haber una hora en el momento, ¿verdad? O no siempre vas a decir, I'm eating tomorrow. Puede que el contexto ya haya indicado que se habla de mañana. Así que el contexto es el que va a ayudar a ver en, en qué va. Si es. Y hay otros usos todavía. Así que <laughs> depende del contexto, ¿ok? But this is option number two. Ok, more examples. Can you read the examples, Jani? More examples here. Okay. Example. Mm -hmm. Um. Eh, eh, de, eh, la, la imagen uno eh, está cantando. Aha, uh -huh. here you have it. Ahí está uh -huh. para que lo pueda leer, Jan. Uh -huh. Land is singing. 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 Karaoke. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. Number two. Uh, Sam y yo are dancing. Uh -huh. okay. Number three. Uh, Max. Y dancing mm -hmm. by Hansel and having fun. Mm -hmm. Having fun. Having fun. Having yes. fun. Uh -huh. You can use two verbs like this. Two verbs and connect them with N. Vladimir, do you have a question? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Having. Huh? Ah, it's it's an expression. It's an expression in this moment. Have se utiliza para experiences, Vladimir. Como have a have a good good time, have fun. Para alguna expresión como have. Eh, uh, what else? Have a time, etc. Para experiences. Se agrega. Entonces, que le está pasando bien. Eso sería como Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. And I can say this. I am, I am typing and speaking. Speaking in this moment. Okay, two verbs with ing, two activities. 
Just use the connector and. Solo lo conectan con and. Y ahí están los dos verbos. Ok. With ing. Ok. And let me scroll down here. Ok. And you can use contractions. Remember that you can use contractions at the moment you can, you want to. Can you read the examples, Rina, please? We're listen, listening to the DJ. Uh -huh. I, I don't hear you very well, Rina. Casi no se oye, fíjese. And this one here? Um, Dan is enjoying the, the party. Okay, uh -huh. se oye bien poquito, bien a lo lejos. Vamos a ver si será el micrófono of the, of the, okay. hoy sí, ya. Yeah. Así ah, si lo acercas. Sí. <laughs> okay, Rina, thank you. Okay, now questions, okay? Just the same structure for questions. They are leaving at 9 p.m. And to change it, you have to change the verb be like this. We are wearing costumes to the party. We change the verb be and the subject. Okay, that is the way we, we do it. Janet is talking about work. Is Janet talking about work? So that is the way we do it, okay? The same as yesterday, the same. Aquí sí es lo mismo que ayer, the same change. Okay, so that is what we will be practicing. Vamos a estar practicando esto en, en la siguiente hora. Any other questions? No sé si tienen alguna otra pregunta antes que avancemos, before we go on. Okay, I'll give you a moment if you want to take notes and then we continue. Yes, Alberto. Teacher, eh, for example, in present continue, se puede utilizar también en, en question, uh, lo que estoy observando ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Eh, no, no hay ningún problema a, a, a cómo se llama. Hacerlo en algo... Eh, como dijera, algo positivo, o sea, algo que se está haciendo en el momento, pero eso le está diciendo como en el ejemplo anterior, um, I'm dancing now, y, y el otro que me dice lo que es, eh, por ejemplo, eh, they are leaving at 9 p.m., uh -huh. pero luego ya cambia lo que es la cuestión, are they leaving at 9 p.m., uh -huh. o no cambia, o sea, se puede utilizar, o sea, mi pregunta es, Present continuo, no hay ningún problema en utilizarlo en cuestión. No, para nada. Puede que sea porque uno no está seguro. Por ejemplo, usted me está hablando a mí, pero imagínese que comenta y yo no sé. Yo diría, are you talking to me or are you talking to Vladimir? Are you talking to Jani? Estoy utilizando present continuous porque está pasando ahorita. Así que okay. sí se puede. Mm -hmm. De acuerdo. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, just to recap. Solo para recapitular. Remember, we use simple present to talk about traditions, habits, regular activities. Simple present, okay? Subject, verb, and complement. Present continues. We use it with activities happening in the moment of speaking. Structure, subject, verb be, verb plus ing and complement. And you have the sentences. The sentences are different. Como ven, las estructuras son distintas. So you have to make sure that you use the right one. Así que, tratemos de utilizar la correcta. Sometimes it's difficult. Ahorita lo que puede pasar es que los van a mezclar. O se les va a olvidar. It's normal. It happens. But that's why we need to practice. 
Así que por eso tenemos que practicarlo, ¿ok? Now, I have some activities planned for the class, but in this moment I have to take the attendance. So I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue with the class. Okay, Daisy Yesenia. <clears throat> Doris de Castaneda. Iris Joana. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Marcelo. Present. Thank you. Jose Mario. Katia Gabriela. Present. Okay. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Uh, thank you. Mauricio Casaneda, Minet Rivera, Nehemías Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto and Nelson René. Present. Okay. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. René Guardado, Rina Espinosa, Rosy Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Vladimir. Okay, thank you. Present. Zulma, Zulma Lorena. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we start with... Present. Thank you, Jan. Ya la apunté acá. Okay, please think about one example. One example using present continuous and one example using simple present. About your family, about a family member. It could be about you or a family member. It could be my mom is cooking, is cooking food in the kitchen. Okay, something real. Háganlo de algo que sea verdad, okay? It could be about you or about a family member. What is your husband doing? What is your daughter doing? What is your dog, your cat doing? What are people doing? Okay, something real that is happening in a, a regular activity. Okay, que sean reales, ambos. And when you're ready, you can send it in the chat or you can say it. Teacher, no entendí bien. Ah, ok. Este, si puede formular o hacer dos ejemplos. Uno que sea con simple present y otro que sea con present continuous. Pero les decía a sus compañeros que sean ejemplos reales. No inventados, sino de algo que sí, que sí sea verdad. Y de que el ejemplo no tiene que ser necesariamente sobre usted sino que puede ser sobre algún familiar, algún pariente o alguna mascota o de las personas en general. Ok, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. You're welcome.
Hello, teacher. Hi, Alberto. Ready? Only, only one uh, example. Mm -hmm. The present, present simple and other present continuous. Mm -hmm. For example, in present, uh, present simple is my family are, are doing exercise every day. Uh, but remember, no ing, Alberto. Just simple, the simple verb. Oh, only, only are do. No verb. You only need the subject, put the verb, and put the complement. Okay. Can you fix it? If, for example, uh, my family, my family do exercise every day. No. Uh -huh. That's that's exercise in this ah, case. Nice. That's exercise every day. Mm -hmm. And um, example uh, number two. Yes, my dog is eating and, and drinking water. Yes, uh -huh. that one is correct. For B and ING. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Uh, Do you have okay. more? No, no, no. Only that one. Okay, All thank done. you. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, Katia, my sister goes because it's a third person. We need to add the rule goes to the school. And the other one, my sister is going, but something real. Is, uh, is your sister like in the school in this moment? La segunda está pasando en este moment? Okay. Okay, try to modify that one, please. Aha, uh -huh. okay, it is the same and with the regular activity and as a present activity. Now, Marcela, my husband wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. Yes. And my dogs are playing with an ice cream teddy. Mm -hmm. They are correct. Who else is ready? Rafa, are you ready? Or Vladimir, you have the other one? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife checking yourself and watching TV. My wife is. Don't forget the verb is. Is watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch. And with simple present, Vladimir, do you have it? Uh, no, my pet. Take a uh, eat, mm, but as a regular activity, hace falta la de simple present, verdad, Vladimir? Porque la otra que hizo también sí, está no. con ing. Ah, okay, cuando tenga, ah, okay, cuando la tenga me me avisa, please. Okay, one moment. Okay, let's see. My sister is watching TV. Okay, now that one is, is correct. Okay, let's see. Okay, Rafa, my son is eating dinner. Mm -hmm. Yanni, my dog sleeps a lot in the night. Rosie, let me see. My son is watching TV. Tina, my cat, my cats eat a lot at night <clears throat> my dog eats a pound of food every day mm -hmm. let me see my mother drives drives to work every day my mother is driving to work now okay mm -hmm. my wife cooks lunch every day <laughs> and my wife is is cooking cooking lunch okay. My son studies uh, with the change. Yes, Vladimir. Uh, how do you say uh, siesta? Nap. Take a nap. Uh -huh. N A P. Nap. Okay. So my son studies English every week. Uh, the last example, Nehemiah, is in future tense. The last example you gave me is studying English tomorrow. It has to be something happening in this moment. 
La última está bien, Nehemia, solo que la ha aplicado con el uso de ayer. No con, con el de hoy, por decirlo así. Ok, Nehemia. Thank you. Let's see, Marisela. My mom is drinking soda. Diana is eating pupusas. Yes. Diana watches, watches TV at night. <laughs> And Abigail drinks water, little water in the day. Ok. Como recommendation, si es tercera persona en simple present, tienen que agregarle la regla siempre de, de la S. ¿Ok? Recuerden de agregarle la S. I'm drinking water. Mm -hmm. My husband walks. Rosy, my husband walks the dog every day. Hay que agregarle la S. Y Nelson, lo mismo. My wife drinks. Drinks coffee. Ajá. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm cooking dinner, ok. Ok, y sí creo que ese fue quizás el, el error promedio, el de la S. Casi creo que nadie se lo puso. So, just the yes. S. My sister cooks every day. I am taking a shower. Ajá, hoy sí, Rafa, ahí está. Ya el cambio. My sister cooks. Ok, creo que alguien la mandó, mandó en el grupo, right? Uh. Ah, ok. Ok, Marisela. Thank you. So, let's continue. Here I have uh, the book. We start right now with point number four. Complete the sentences in present continuous. And send them by chat. Ok. It could be a private, a private message. Complete the sentences by chat, send them to me. In about three minutes or two, we check them together. And Vladimir, my pet takes, takes a nap, <laughs> takes a nap. Um, in the afternoon or you can mention the moment. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Rafa. Number three. Uh -huh. The bird is take, take care. And take ENG. E care, uh, no. No, care, no. It's not a verb. So it would be Take. taking. Taking care. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, teacher. I have a question. Tell me, Alberto. <clears throat> For example, in the number five, mm -hmm. is... Yes. What is the question about number five? Uh, 
I don't hear you, Alberto. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, and the uh, number five, sería como, se le quita la E, se le pone preparing. Mm -hmm. Preparing. Yes, you have to remove it. Okay. Yes. Alberto, ¿cuál era su pregunta? About number five. Eh, por ejemplo, en, en, ese, en ese verbo prepare, eh, elimino la E y solo agrego en G, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Siempre cuando termina lo que es en, en, en vowel. En una E, mm -hmm. you have to change it. Como It's have, okay. have, se le quita. Right, cuando terminan en E, you change it. Prepare, take to make the change. Okay, so let's let's compare. I can uh -huh. I have the, the messages here. I can see them and they look good. So I'm just going to ask to confirm, just to double check they are correct. Okay, let's start with, let me see, Jenny, number two. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. uh, Sherry, mm -hmm. meeting will the both ring now. There Re is one. There is one thing missing, Jenny. Hace falta algo ahí. Sherry, is. Uh -huh. Sherry is meeting. Aha, uh -huh. is. Wow, the box, right? Y esa palabra no, no la puedo pronunciar. Right, right now. Now. Ajá, but, uh -huh, but this okay. is a mistake. Este es un error, no es así. Solo es así. Solo con ah, okay. N-O-W, right now. Okay, okay. That's, that's the one. Zulma, number three. How do you have it? Okay. He, he are. No are. Sorry, Sulma, no are. It's another one. He are. Mm, no, no are. No are. He is. Huh? He is. He is taking care of everything. Yes, he is taking care of everything. Okay, Sulma, thank you. Let's continue with Rina. Number four, Rina. I am paying attention, attention to the instruction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's see Vladimir, number five. Um, she preparing the real field. There is one thing you're missing. Uh, she buried. Verbi, Vladimir. Don't forget the verbi. She is. She is. <laughs> uh -huh. She is preparing. Yes. The briefing. Thank you, Vladimir. And Nehemiah, number six, please. Uh, they are setting the product to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so please compare guys, compare that this is what you have. Okay, these are the correct answers. And don't forget the verb B is an obligation. It's mandatory to use the verb B and the verb plus ing, both of them. Okay, questions? About number point number four. Do you have questions? No. Okay, so let's continue with letter B. Now it says write, but in the chat, write in the chat activities you usually do on a Monday morning. Write activities you usually do on a Monday morning, please.
Ok, vamos con la parte B. Actividades que usualmente hacen Mondays morning. Monday mornings. You can send them by chat. Si no les, no les funciona el chat, puede ser en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. And I will read it there. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rafa. Parts, parts B refers to present simple. Uh -huh. Yes, because you're going to talk about regular activities or habits. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. messages too in case there's there are things to to change but very good using simple present that is the one you should use joy yeah, your sentences are great no no corrections at all so they are fine and then uh, okay i will wait we will wait about two or three more minutes, guys. Si ya terminaron, vamos a esperar un momento a sus classmates 
Y luego vamos a trabajar en otra conversation que ya les voy a decir cómo va a funcionar. But please hold on. Por favor, espérennos three, three minutes. Okay, um, it's time time to continue, but thank you for the sentences. Uh, they are very good. Let me refresh it. Okay. So, Rina, I get up at 6 a.m., it's correct. I buy coffee, uh -huh, it's correct. Okay, so let's let's continue. And René, uh, no, sorry, Nelson. Nelson, for regular activities, don't use the verb be. Acuérdense que aquí estamos hablando de rutina, ¿verdad? De, de hábitos. El verb be, I am sending, ese es para, ese es el otro tiempo. El que tiene que utilizar aquí es este. Simple present. Solo va subject, verb, y complement. I send reports. I read emails. I give cash. Okay, that's the, the correct one. Okay, so let's continue. We are going to work on role plays. We have to practice conversation skills. Tenemos que practicar conversación. So that is what we will practice in this moment. You have to create a role play that is going to have breathing, the like the body part and your ending. Van a hacer como una conversación total. Ahora sí pónganle introducción y le ponen un final también. Se despiden in English. <laughs> que a veces no se despiden. So try to say goodbye this time. Okay, the conversation is going to be about your daily life future plans and things that you are doing in this moment. Okay, la conversación va a ser sobre lo que ustedes hacen de su vida eh, o rutina diaria. Al mismo tiempo van a utilizar eh, futuro. Quiero que hablen de planes futuros, future plans and things you're doing right now. Y al mismo tiempo de cosas que estén haciendo en este momento. Okay, vamos a tratar de unir todo, todo lo que hemos estado practicando. Les voy a dar un ejemplo, ¿ok? Quiero tratar de ver 
simple present and present continuous, que es lo que estamos practicando. Como que yo diga, ok, hi, Joana, how, uh, what are you doing in this moment? Can you help me, Joana? Puedes improvisar conmigo, <laughs> please. So, what are you doing, Joana? I study in English. Ah, okay. I am studying English too. What are you doing on Saturday? I uh, going uh, to the beach oh. with my family. Sounds cool. How often do you go to the beach? Okay, that, yeah. that's it. I will stop you, but thank you, Joan. Okay, no sé si lograron ver cómo estaba aplicando diferentes cosas en unos segundos. Utilicé simple present, utilicé future tense y utilicé también present continuous. Okay, pero todo va combinado cuando hablamos. Okay, so now it's your turn. Les voy a dar tiempo para que lo planeen. Salúdense y despídanse, ¿ok? Questions. Do you have questions? Está claro, it's clear. Ok, so I'm going to, to create the, the couples. Just give me one moment here. And I'll visit you. I'll visit you there. Oh, before I send you some feedback. Feedback también relacionado al de ayer. So, ok, remember... One, one moment. Okay, so remember you have simple present and present continuous. Remember the structure, okay? Recuerden la estructura para preguntas es diferente a la estructura para afirmación o negación. Si utilizan present continuous, recuerden de agregarle ing al verb. Recuerden de agregar el verb to be. Y cuando utilicen simple present, no le pongan ing al verbo. ¿Ok? Vamos a utilizarlo en su forma base. It's ok if you make mistakes. Yo sé que estamos aprendiendo, así que van a haber errores. So, así que son solo reminders. ¿Ok? Solo algunos recordatorios. Ok. So now let's, let's work on this. Katia, um, this time, let me see. Work with... Let me check. Uh, okay, Katia and Marisela. Jennifer and, well, Jennifer, Marcela and Rina. Next, Joanna and Rosie. Then, Vladimir work with, let me see, Vladimir, with Rafa. And then Alberto, Alberto work with Zulma and Nelson with, with um, Jani, Nelson and Jani. If you need me, let me know. Si ustedes me necesitan, ahí presionan el botón para que yo llegue a visitarlos.
But do you... Como que vas a hacer este fin de semana? Uh -huh. What do you... Pero dijo... Make. In daily the life. Dijo daily life, future plans in... Lo que está haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? In this moment. Ah, What do you doing now? La, ajá, tenemos la presentación, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a seguir con, con cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces sería... Entonces me preguntaría, What do you doing now, usted? Le preguntaría... Are you, are you busy today? Are you busy family, quizás? Family today? No. Busy. Busy. What is it? What is it busy? Ocupado. Pero es, está, está, ah. está mal, no. Espera. Estaré know. por acá si me necesitan aquí yo. Okay. 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 <laughs> sí, pero la idea es practicar, ¿verdad? Aplicar la gramática, que no solo se quede en estructuras o, o lección, ¿verdad? Sino ya aplicarlo en una conversation. Ok, pues yes. Se puede aplicar It... como... Yeah. Uh -huh. Usted en el ejemplo hizo como que what do you do y qué estás haciendo en este momento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, Nosotros lo podemos aplicar igual así o qué haces o qué has hecho. Pero si usted dice qué has hecho, ya se va a ir a otro tiempo que todavía no ah, hemos okay. visto. Ajá, la idea es con lo que ya saben, con eso armar una conversación. Porque yo la armé solo con lo mismo que les he enseñado. No he agregado otras otras cosas que podemos. Entonces podemos seguir el mismo gramática tuya. What do you do? Okay, pero, pues, pero, no, pero no tiene saludo. Pero yo le no? diría el mismo hi a usted. Are you busy today? Estás ocupado ahora. Podría ser una manera. Uh -huh. ah, y okay. ya la respuesta puede ser o cualquiera, yes, I am working, no. or yes, I, I have to work, no sé. Pero sí, eso podría, o sea, una pregunta puede guiar a diferentes rutas de respuesta, ¿verdad? Ya está en ustedes que, que escriben. Ok. Usted me puede decir algo sobre, dígame algo sobre futuros planes. Por ejemplo, puede decir ahora eh, no, ¿verdad? Pero si me dice algo, algo que, que planea, por ejemplo, hacer. Um, I, I, I think that buy a car, por ejemplo. Pero... Uh, I buy in, buy in a, a car. Ah, I, sí, llevaría el bullying, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Va, pero terminémosla. Are you busy? Today. No, okay, I'm going, today. To, I'm going to let you continue. I'm going to visit another couple, but I'll see you in, in a moment, okay? Goodbye. Okay. How, como, como. Hi, Rina. Oh, Hi, Marce. How is your conversation yeah. going? ¿Qué tal va con la conversation? Ya, armamos ahí un poquito. Ah, ok. Glad to hear that. I just, uh, I'll just listen to you a moment. Okay, I'm just here to, to listen to you and to help you in case you need me. But you can continue, ok? Solo voy a estar aquí escuchando. Y si tienen preguntas, pues me preguntan. Ok. Pues si quiere practiquemos la ahorita para que no vayamos a cortar. Ok. Vale, voy a empezar yo. 
Hi, Rina. Good night. How are you? Hi. Hi, Marcela. I'm fine. Where do you work, Rina? I'm, I work in the pharmacy San Roque in Sonsonate. And what time do you wake up? I wake up 6 a.m. every day. And what? What do you do in your workplace, Rina? Um, in my workplace, I have I have service service client clients. Oh, okay. And what are you doing right now? Um, right now. Uh, is at learning English at the moment. Okay, and what are you doing this weekend? In this weekend, I work working Sunday. Okay. And you, Marcela? How often do you work on Sunday? Oh, I never work in Sunday. I rest. Okay. Okay, the conversation is going very well. Ya oí un poquito y las voy a dejar ahí que sigan. Solo un comment. Marce utiliza on para días. On Saturdays. Or on okay. y el día. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on week. Ajá, on weekends también. In, es el, si es el mes, month, or year. In December. Ok, but continue. Y si no, cualquier cosa, ya les doy más feedback. Ok, see you in a moment. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver qué le puedo contestar yo. Bueno, ya me voy a... Eh... Le voy a decir que no ve, ah, que yo también, quizás voy a ir al cine y que la veo, nos vemos en el cine y, y me voy a despedir de un solo. Ajá, ajá. Porque ya nos está sacando, creo. Hi. Ah, no, está. No, Hi, I'm teacher. here. I'm just checking. Ah. Do you have questions? No, teacher, pensé no. que ya nos iba a sacar y ya estábamos improvisando no, como no. íbamos. No, a despedir. <laughs> Ok, no, no. I'm just here just to see if you need help, solo para ver si aclaro dudas o algo. Si no, me quedo un ratito solo escuchando y depende de eso yo les digo cómo van. Pero ajá, you can continue, okay. por eso les traté de dar suficiente tiempo para que todo les salga ahí bien. Ok, teacher. Ok. Si gusta, me, me repite lo que me va a decir después de cuando yo le pregunto, eh, What are you going on the weekend? I watching the movie in the cinema with my family. Bueno, quizá ahí yo puedo decir eh, que yo también, como me too, eh, I see you, I see you the weekend. Y ahí, y ahí nos despedimos. Sería después de Rosy que va al cine, contesta Joana. Uh, me too. Me too, I see. Eh, I see you the, the weekend. The weekend. Yo le contesto eso. Ajá. Nos vemos el, el sábado. Usted me puede responder, see you. See you, nos vemos. See you. Y ahí nos despediríamos. Y ahí ¿eh? nos despedimos. Sí. Ok, si quiere, good. practiquemos. Entonces ya, ya lo tienen prácticamente, ¿verdad? Sí, solo okay, sería de práctico. Sí. Only two comments. Cuando preguntas, Joa, dices, what or where? En la eh, pregunta what, del what. cinema. Ok, es where. Yo tengo si como es what. El lugar, where. El lugar, ah, ¿verdad? Okay. Donde va es, es la pregunta. No le, no, le estoy preguntando qué va a hacer. 
¿Qué vas a hacer el fin de semana? Ah, ok. Entonces, ella me dice que... Ajá. Está bien, what? What are you doing? Entonces, what Ajá. are you doing? Ah, yo lo tenía como, what are you going, going. to do? To ah, do on the week. going the to do. What Ajá. are you going to do? Sí, estaría bien, solo que estás aplicando eh, futuro. El going. El going to. Ajá. Podrías, está bien, esa es otra opción, ya la conoces, la puedes utilizar. Si fuera okay. con el otro, sí sería, what are you doing? Or where are you going? Pero está bien ese. Y lo otro, eh, acuérdense de utilizar on the weekend. On. No on solo the weekend. the weekend. Ajá, on the weekend. Ajá, uh -huh. Así es, lo teníamos. Sí, está on the bien. weekend. Uh -huh. Entonces quizás en... No, creo que ya, ya tenemos que irnos. Porque yeah. hay, <ríe> sí, porque hay varios que pasar y ya solo tenemos como 12 minutos. Ok. okay. I'll see you there. Hi guys, welcome back. Eh, Rina sí se va a quedar ahora a su session, private session. Ah, okay. I just wanted to confirm. Okay, welcome back. We must begin now because we only have like 10 minutes. So we will start with Rafael and Vladimir. Please, please go ahead. De acuerdo. Rafa is coming back in this moment. Okay, Rafa, I'm going to share the spotlight with, with you guys. Okay, you can start. You first. Oh. Se me perdió el, 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 la conversación. Are, ta, okay. <laughs> Aquí okay. está. Bueno. Ok, ah, si no les voy a dar ah, tiempo para que terminen, ah, vean eso. No, ah, ahorita, picha. You're ready. Ok. Ahí va, Rafa. Bueno. Ahí está, ahí te lo mandé. Ahí está. Thank you. Hello, Vladimir. What are you doing? Hi, but I take a, a uh, English class. And you? Me too. I have a question. Have you finished the homework? Uh, don't, no, I don't because I a lot of work. And you finish the homework? No, I don't. But I finish it tomorrow. Well, good looking. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, Rafa, thank you and thank you, Vladimir. Because of the time, I'll give you feedback tomorrow. No, tomorrow, no, because we don't have classes on Monday. Okay, we continue with that on Monday. But thank you, guys. Thank you, both of you. So, okay, let's continue with Nelson. Nelson and Zulma. Okay, teacher. Hey, hello, Zulma. Hi, Nelson. What are you doing right now? I am studying English, and you? I'm working very hard. Nice. Well, are you planning in the weekend? Yes, I'm going to visit my family. Tell me about you. Are you studying on Saturday? I am not because I working Today is Saturday. Oh, so bad. Okay. I see you later, Nelson. 
Bye. I see you later. Mm -hmm. Happy tonight. Bye bye. Happy to meet you. Bye bye. Okay, Sulma, thank you and thank you, Nelson. I heard that you created questions and you, you gave the, the introduction to you introduce yourselves. Okay, let's see. Marcela and Rina, can you continue, please? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Rina. Good night. How are you? Hi, Marcela. I'm fine today. Cool. And where do you work, Rina? I work in the pharmacy San Roque Sonsonate. Oh, it's good. And what time do you wake up? I wake up 6 a.m. every day. Very early. And what do you do in your workplace? In my workplace, I serve clients. And what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm learning English at the moment. Oh, it's good. And what are you doing on weekend? Um, weekend, work on Sunday. Oh, okay. Um, how often do you work on Sunday, Marcela? Oh, I never work in, on, on Sundays. I rest. Okay. Where do you work? I work in a bank. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Marcela. Nice to meet you, Rina. Good night. Good night. See you later. Okay, very good questions and very good use of simple present and present continuous. I could see you understood, right? You understood the questions and it was a, a dialogue. Okay, let's move on. Katia, Maricela, please continue. Okay. Hi, Maricela. How are you? Hi, Katia. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, are you busy today? Um, this one, no, I don't have plans. And you, do you have plans in the weekend? Um, yes, I do. This weekend is my sister's birthday. And you, Maricela, what are you doing this weekend? Well, excellent. Uh, congratulations. I go, I going to vis visit my family this weekend and I cook in the soup that chicken. Oh, this is great. I see you later in work. Okay, Kathy. Nice to meet you. See you later in the water Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very <laughs> good. Thank you, Maricela. Thank you, Katia. Okay, you did a great job too. Let's continue with Joanna. Joanna and Rosy, please continue. Hi, Rosy. How are you? Hello, Joanna. Fine. And what are you doing? Uh, I go shopping at the supermarket and then I go home make a lunch and, and you, Rosie? I'm going to work. I have a meeting with my boss in the afternoon. Oh. What are you doing on the weekend? i watching the movie in the cinema with my family. Me too. See you on the weekend, Rosie. See you, Joanna. Okay, thank you. Thank you, it was good. Mm -hmm. Now that I heard the whole thing, it was very good. Good questions and good answers. Okay, thank you, Rosy and Joanna. And now we will listen to Nelson and Janira. Can you continue, please? 
Okay. Hello, Jani. Hello, Nelson. What are you doing, Jani? Uh, I study English now. Uh, and you, Nelson? And you, I, Nelson, what do you do? Uh, I drink coffee and eat beer. Um, where, where are you going to next weekend, Johnny? Uh, uh, I what will uh, do you in the afternoon? No, I me perdí un poco. Mm -hmm. No problem. Continue. It's okay. Uh, the weekend. Uh, no, no working. The weekend. Glad to meet you, Nelson. I, uh, see you later, Jan. See you, see you later, Nelson. Okay, cool. Thank you, Nelson and Jani. Okay, <laughs> two sub changes. You can say at the end, at the beginning, what are you? Doing that is the first question. Así debería quedar la primera. You said um, said it different. So it is what are you doing? Mm -hmm. But okay. you created some questions were were good. Oh, and about the feedback, Rafa and Vladimir, when you were talking about homework, what did you mean? ¿Qué es lo que querían decir cuando hablaron de la tarea? Solo quiero estar segura. La sí, de la... Los Ajá, pero si la, Ajá. si la habían sí. hecho. Sí. Si la habías terminado. Sí, había okay. sí, porque si hablan de eso es como referirse al pasado. No sería exactamente de una actividad oh. regular, sino que es como, mm -hmm. did you do your homework? Como hiciste la tarea, la has hecho. Entonces estamos refiriéndonos mm -hmm. a un evento anterior. Así que ahí les quería ahí mencionar eso de que era como algo de antes. ¿okay? Pero vamos a seguir trabajando en más role plays. Todavía falta la mitad del, del módulo prácticamente. Así que ya van a ver que todavía falta mucho más. Okay. But thank you. I just need to take the attendance. I will take it really quick and then you are free to go. We start with Daisy Yesenia. And then Doris de Castaneda. Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, present. Present. Eh, no se le entiende, teacher. Ya no se le escucha, ¿no? Ups, teacher. Great. And now, do you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. So it is Joanna. And then, Present. Okay. Jose Mario, Katia, Gabriela. Present. Del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Mauricio Castaneda and Minet Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Present. Rafael Antonio, Present. René Guardado, okay. Rina Espinosa, Present. Present. Thank you, Rosy Meléndez, Vladimir Antonio, Present. Thank you, eh, Yanira Cepeda, and Zulma. Present teacher. Thank you. Pre Present teacher. Right, and Zulma Lopez. Teacher. Okay. So now you guys are free to go. I'm just going to stay with Trina here. But I hope you enjoy the weekend. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Bye. See you. Have See you. Sweet dreams to everyone. Bye. Take Bye -bye. care. Good night. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. <laughs>
Okay, Lina, hello. How are you feeling? Ya se adaptó más al grupo. Ya. Hoy sí, ya, ¿verdad? Quizás ya. solo los primeros tres días, dos días se siente raro, ya después ya. It's normal, right? Sí, so, como hay ¿Mm? Más de compañeros. Hay unos compañeros del primer módulo. Uh -huh. Sí, y al trabajar en, en grupos, ahí se van conociendo un poquito más. So that También. also helps. Eh, so tell me, Lina, is there something that you would like to reinforce? ¿Hay algo que quisiera re, reforzar? ¿O hay algo que no esté en el libro, pero que le cueste? En este caso, a mí, bueno, la clase de ayer, la primera hora, sí, pues me quedé un poquito perdida porque no estaba... Ah, cuando andaba en el súper. Sí, me tocaba sí. caer. Sí. Entonces, este... Quisiera sí, reforzar eso. Reforzar eso y el otro punto es, uh -huh. por ejemplo, cuando en la conversación, no sé si se dice preposiciones o cómo se dice la, por ejemplo, para unir las palabras. Siento que me cuesta un poquito. Unir oraciones. Ajá, por ejemplo, si quiero decir yo que voy a trabajar el domingo, uh -huh. creo que son las at, in, on, como para... Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. ok, ya la entendí. Pues vaya, vamos a empezar con lo de ayer. Ayer estábamos viendo present continuous. Estábamos viendo present continuous, pero tenía otro uso. O sea, cuando hablamos de present continuous, es el, el ing. I'm going uh -huh. to put it here. Estábamos viendo cómo utilizar este structure, pero estábamos hablando de que puede utilizar esto para future events, para hablar del futuro. En español, si usted trata de traducir, se oye rarísimo. No lo hacemos nosotros en Spanish. Pero en inglés esto es bien común. común. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir que yo voy a ir a comer con mis amigos el domingo, utilizo esta estructura. I am eating with my friends on Sunday night. Ahora, si usted quiere utilizarlo de esta manera, en el complemento vale a agregar una palabra que dé a entender futuro, un time word, una palabra de tiempo. Podría ser Sunday morning, or I can say he is going to the beach tomorrow. Ok, se le pone un time word para que puedan entender que estamos haciendo referencia a un plan. Ok, so this is a future plan. Es la misma estructura que vimos hoy, Rina, pero le agregábamos un time word al final para que las personas entendieran que no era presente, sino que era un futuro evento. Un futuro evento. Uh -huh. Can you give me two examples? Podría pensar en dos ejemplos. Algo que vaya a ser, something, a future event. I am, I am working in Sunday. On Sunday. Uh -huh. on, on, on Sunday, <laughs> on Sunday, Correct. every day. Eh, sí, every day. Every day ya no lo utilizaría yeah. porque every day da a entender que es todos los días. Pero si es futuro, tiene que decir el momento como on uh, Sunday. On Sunday. Or next Sunday. Uh -huh. Next, another example. Mm, my son watching TV. Okay, but if you say it like that, it's, it's present continuous. Si lo dice así, es que lo que está haciendo el ahorita. Pero tiene que oh. ser future. Ok. Ok, sería. Um, Se puede decir de una sola vez, por ejemplo, el. The next week. Mm -hmm. Going. Going to. Going I to. Am, 
I'm going because you need the subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going the next week. Weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, to the beach. Yeah, right? Aha, uh -huh, you can say next week I am mm -hmm. going to the beach or mm -hmm. I am going to the beach next week. Ah, y que por cierto eso quizás sería algo de feedback que le podría dar, Rina, que lo que le mencioné ahora en el chat, de que asegúrese de siempre agregarle el sujeto a la oración. Ajá. Sí. Porque yo sé que en Spanish no lo ponemos a cada rato. No decimos de cada rato, me, she, he. Solo decimos el verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, in, in English, ahí sí, hay que repetirlo. She is going to the beach. I am, he, siempre. ¿Ok? Siempre hay que colocar. Van a haber ocasiones que no, pero ahorita en lo que estamos estudiando, sí, hay que agregar. Okay. Ahora, con respecto a lo que usted me dice de prepositions, podría darle las que hemos estudiado hasta ahora. Hemos estudiado on, in, and at. Bueno, esto fueron el, en el módulo pasado. No sé uh -huh. si se recuerda on. La de on. Uh -huh. meses uh -huh. um, para um, los días. In, creo que es para el tiempo. Uh -huh. Todas tiempo se pueden utilizar hoy. en el tiempo, pero tienen ciertas diferencias. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. on es para specific, specific dates. Cuando decimos specific dates, es como cuando decimos on Monday o decimos on September. 23rd, eso es específico. Ahí utilizamos on. Una fecha específica. Ajá, que ya se trae día. In es un poquito más vago. In es cuando solo tiene el month. O puede ser centuries, siglos. Or you can use it with seasons. With seasons. And years. Si usted solo va a colocar el mes, entonces ahí va in, in May, in the six, cuando son siglos, in the six, uh -huh. cent, or eleven century, ahí va también in, eh, seasons, eh, temporadas, así como otoño, verano. También es in summer. Y también si solo va a decir el año, in 2020. Ahí va in. Y el otro que tenemos es at. Este es para specific moments. Ese es el que se utilizaba con algunas como expressions. At. At the sunrise, at night, at midnight, at noon, que se utilizaba con, o decir at 10.30, cuando dice la hora. Entonces ahí se utilizaba esto. Y de ahí el otro que le podría dar que sería extra es from to. Este lo puede utilizar cuando quiera abrir y cerrar un segmento de tiempo. Abre y cierra. Como yo trabajo de lunes a viernes, I work from, abre el segmento de tiempo. From Monday y luego lo cierra con to, to Friday. Yo estudio de 6 a 8 o de 8 a 10. I study. From, y abre el segmento, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Ese también es bien útil. 
So there you have some, Prima. Y poquito a poquito ahí vamos a ir agregando más. También las clases traen conectores o prepositions que le pueden ayudar para ir expandiendo la idea, ¿verdad? Así es. Ok. <laughs> Gracias. Ok, teacher. you're welcome, Rina. Nice to talk to you a moment. Y cualquier cosa, ya sabe que ahí me puede mandar un mensaje. Espero que siempre se sienta cómoda con el grupo y conmigo. Y cualquier queja, cualquier cosa, y escríbame, ¿ok? Y ahí vamos a tratar de mejorar. Ok. Ok, Rina. Have a, a good night. See you on Monday. Bye, bye. Bye.